So you manage a Microsoft 365 organization, and let's say that one of your users or maybe your boss has said, right, one of the other users, we need to gain access to their OneDrive files because maybe they've left the company or maybe they've decided to just take some time off because they're ill or unwell or for any other reason. Now your, your job is as a 365 administrator, you now need to give another user access to that specific user's files in OneDrive. So you're probably thinking, well, how do I do that? So in today's video, guys, welcome back. Just a quick introduction. My name is Matthew from Matthew's Tech Hub. Hope you're all doing well. I'm going to be showing you on how you can do that as a 365 administrator. Now, before we do get started, it's important to note that you do need a Microsoft account with global administrator permissions. If you don't have a global administrator, again, you will need to speak to an, anyone who has global administrator to assign you that permission, or maybe even to give you access to that specific account. So what we're gonna do, guys, I'm gonna show you two ways you can do this. So the first way, again, is gonna be by sharing the files directly within OneDrive, which everyone is probably most commonly used to. And the second option is by accessing it via a shared link, which you can access again and, uh, as a global administrator, which you'll need to share to your other users. So again, I'll, as usual, I'll split this video into two chapters, which you can select down at the bottom of the video. And um, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so now we're in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. What we're going to do is we're going to go on the left-hand side. We're going to go to our active users. I'm going to show you exactly who we're going to be sharing it from and to. So once you select active users on the left-hand side, you'll then see all your users in your tenants straight in front of you. So if we just scroll down here, so in today's demo, I'm going to be sharing, well, let's say for example, Omar Knotts has left this business, but Robin Schneider wants to have access to his files. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to click on the user that we want to, um, the, the user that we want to want to share. So I'm going to click on Omar Knotts, and on the right hand side, you'll see you on one of these options at the top, you've got one that says OneDrive. So if I select on OneDrive just at the top here, now let's take a moment to load. And on the left hand side, as you can see, we've got something saying get access to files. So it will create a link to get the files. So if I now just select on this, it will then generate a link which you can then uh, click on straight away to view the files. Now, as I said, so if I now just quickly copy this link, and then if I just go into another tab, and I find us paste that into the tab at the top, as you can see, because we are a global administrator, we can access the files straight away. So what if you, maybe if you're a global admin and you want to share these files now, um, like, like I say, directly through OneDrive, what you can do is you can actually just select on the files. So if I select, let's, say, let's start off with this one here. So let's select that. And if we just go to share just at the very top, then that'll open up a nice little window here. And then what you can do is you can then type in the user that you want to share with. So for example, in, in today's demo, we're going to be sharing it with Robin Schneider. So we type in Robin. And as you can see, Robin Schneider comes up straight away. So we just select his name. And then as again, we can type a message if you want to. So this is if you want to maybe include like a message saying, hey Robin, here's the files you've requested, or maybe you just want to go provide some instructions because it might not be used to using OneDrive. There's Different things you can put into there, it's completely up to you. Um, but then once you've done that, you'll just then click on send just down at the bottom. You can also customize it. So you've got this copy link here. And then if you go to the little link settings, as you can see, you can only share it. You can either share it with anyone, uh, maybe people only inside of your organization. So it's called Contoso because it's just a demo tenant which I've set up for today. Um, you've got people with access. Uh, sorry, people with existing access and then people you choose. So again, you can make things quite more sort of secure if you want to, but again, for today's demo, we're just going to leave it as anyone. And then as soon as we've done that, just click apply and you just hit send and then that's it. And then Robin will then, or your other user in your case, would then just get an email saying that you shared those files with them. But let's say that they want direct access. They don't want to just have a, you know, they don't just want these files shared with them. They want to have access to the whole OneDrive as a whole. So I'm not going to show you this way. So this is the second method, which we'll jump straight into now. <clears throat> okay, so now we're back into the Microsoft 365 tenants. What we're going to do is on the left-hand side, we're going to go down to active users. And again, we're just going to do the same process like we did in method one. So we're just going to scroll down. I'm just going to find the user that we're going to be sharing. So again, it's going to be Omar Knotts. And then on the right hand side, we're just going to select on the OneDrive and give it a second to load. And then what we're going to do is again, I'm just going to show you before we do start this, I'm going to show you what the user will see if they try accessing this. So what you would need to do is um, once you've clicked on OneDrive, then click on create link to files and then just wait for that to load. 
and then essentially um, you would actually share this link with the user but I'm going to show you what it is that they see when they if, if you haven't shared it them at all what, what screen or error messages they do get so what we're going to do uh, I'm just going to quickly jump into Robin's account so I'm now going to pretend as if we are now Robin trying to access that link without having them shared yet so if I just now to quickly grab my uh, Robin's login details from my other screen here just grab that and that's his password there <clears throat> no, we don't want to stay signed in here. So yeah, let's say, for example, so if I jump back into the other window, I'll just grab that link again. So if I copy this link, so let's say now we are the person that we're, that we're sharing it uh, sharing it to. So at the moment we haven't given them access. So as you can see, if I now go to this link, give it a moment. There you go. Straight away it will say access is denied. You don't have permission to access this, and it will say again, you'll, you'll please ask the site admin to give you access. Well, we are the site admin, so let's do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump back into the Microsoft uh, Admin Center. So as I said, please make sure I, as well, you still are a global administrator at this point because you do need global admin or even SharePoint administrator to do this. So what we're going to do on the left-hand side is uh, underneath Admin Centers, you're going to go into the SharePoint Admin Center just down here. Then we'll just load up and give that a sec to load. And then what, on the left hand side menu again, you've got an option here saying more features. So we're going to select onto more features and then we're just going to jump into where it says user profile. So then you're going to click on this nice open button just right here. Let's give that a second to load and then straight away you're going to be um, greeted with two options. So you've got people and then my site settings. So we're now going to jump into manage user profiles under people. So it's going to select this blue option right here. And then it will take you now to the user profiles option. So this is now where you're going to type in the person uh, who you're going to be sharing the files. So for example, we're sharing Omar's files with Robin Schneider. So we now need to access Omar's files, uh, sorry, Omar's account even. So what we're going to do is go type in Omar. Now, if you do have multiple people in your organization with, with maybe the same uh, first name, you might want to type in the full name. So I'm just going to type in Omar Knotts. Uh, and I'm just going to click on find on the, on the right hand side there. Just give that a second. And there we go. So now it's going to come up with Omar Knots. So what now goes to do is on the left hand side where it says account name, if you now just click on uh, this name here, it will then give you a little dialog box that will pop up. We're now just going to go down to where it says manage site collection owners. So we now just select on this. And then again, it's going to take a, just a quick moment just to load up there. And I'll give you this nice box in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to now look at the section uh, which uh, where it says Site Collection Administrators, which is the second option down. So as you can see, we've got Omar Knotts because obviously it's his account, and you've also got System Administrator. Now that is why we could access Omar's files uh, as, as shown in the first method, because by default, if you are an admin or a global admin, you do get access to um, few people's OneDrive files. So now what we're going to do is we're now going to just simply click on the end here. I'm just going to click uh, hit space and I'm just going to type in the person that we're now going to share Omar's files with, which in today's video is going to be Robin Schneider. So I'm just going to type in Robin and then I'm going to type in his last name as well. You can, uh, if you haven't got anyone else with the same name, or maybe you've only got, let's like, say, for example, you've got one user called Robin, um, you can just type in Robin and then it will find it straight away. But just to be safe, I normally type in the first and the last name as well. So now once you've typed in that, you've got this little person here with the tick which says check name. So it's going to select on that and that will take a moment. There we go. And as you can see, it's now found his account. So if you hover over his name, it will then tell you the full email address of that person. So now what we're all going to do, guys, is going to click on OK it's down at the bottom here. And that's it. And it's now saved. So what we can now do is we can now jump back into Robin's account and then maybe see if that link works. So I'm just going to go back into our 365 admin center. And then I'm going to click on Omar Knott's uh, name again. And then on the right, I'm just going to click on OneDrive. A moment to load there. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to click on Create Link to, to Files like we did previously. Click on that. And then we'll just quickly generate another link. And if we just then copy this link and then jump back into the other um, tab which I had open, which, which is now where we are now logged in as Robin. So if we just try this link again and paste it in there and hit enter. And there you go. And as you can see, you've now got access to Omar's files. So what you would now do at this point, guys, is you would, if you are, um, if you are accessing the files, you would then essentially maybe share that link maybe by email or 
um, maybe via WhatsApp or however you guys communicate internally in your company. So you would need to share that link with the person you just now delegated access to. So once you've given them access to it, that's it. They can now access the files, they can create files, they can download, whatever they want to do. But again, just make sure if they no longer need access, you will just do the same process in reverse to remove them. I hope that's helped, guys. It's just a quick video. Um, hopefully, everything has been explained as, as it should be. If you can, guys, please hit that like button if it has helped you all out. Fingers crossed it has. And also, please also leave a comment about what you thought about today's video down in the comments that, uh, box below. And if you do have any questions at all, please let me know. Again, I do try to get back to as many of you as possible. And as always, guys, please also smash that subscribe button as well. Thanks again for everyone for watching. Take care for now. Bye-bye.